evening to you all depending on your time zone depending on where you are watching me from this evening this is to your sister Chama. guys i'm back again with you know interesting news this is just a breaking news i said let me bring it to all of you so that you hear it and you know bring your own opinion over it let's dialogue over it but guys before we do that I want to thank all of you my current subscribers who has been you know been there for me each time i post a video you are there to watch comment and share guys god bless you but today if you come across this video you have not you know subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for it is your subscription your thumbs up your like and your share your comment you know makes us to do what to do the more so guys please subscribe to this channel down there written with red and in boldness subscribe as soon as you click that once a bell notification will pop up you click on it as well once and click on all so that the all means anytime i publish a new video straight to you it will get to you give you notification that the video has been posted guys god bless you let's go into the video you know this evening i want to bring us what is trending today there was a meeting held in abuja the meeting is talking about the restructuring of nigeria restructuring of nigeria but guys there are a lot of dignitaries that attended this particular meeting about restructuring everybody we are giving his or her own opinion over it but you know when things become interesting it's when somebody that has been there before say his own opinion when somebody that has tested that seat which is the immediate past president of nigeria good luck jonathan because he says something that got the whole world you know interested guys jonathan has been there he just left there he knows the in and out all look and cranny of that asorok what is hap happening in governance and in government what is happening right there in nigeria who is doing who guys this man knows it and for him to come up with this statement saying restructuring alone cannot solve the problem of nigeria there is more to this statement he has something spectacular in mind but he might not like to go straight to the point but this particular word speaks volume but guys we will get into this video let's listen let's read through what he said and we will come back for the rest of analysis just listen President Good Luck Jonathan Evele has said that restructuring the country will not end its problem. Guys, like I said before, this is my own words. Before somebody of that caliber, a president of that nature, somebody that has tested that seed, tested power, knows everything about Nigeria and its governance. Before he come up with this statement, there is more to it. He has seen something. He seen something. He knows something. But this is his own simple way to put it in, in what? In what? We will come back for the analysis and I will tell you my own opinion. Let us continue what he said. Cause of restructuring the country has increased in the past two years with commentators analyzing that the country will soon cease to exist if the country isn't restructured. Speaking at the dialogue on the restructuring in Abuja on Thursday, J.E.J. said restructuring the country cannot happen in isolation. He said 
there is a need for Nigerians to restructure their mind. Problems militaring against the growth of the country at the national level is still present at the state and local levels. There is a need to address nepotism, ethnic bias, and religious favoritism. Guys, this is what Good Love Jonathan said. I told you that which country are you going to restructure? Guys, from my from my dictionary explanation of restructuring, you restructure something when there is already existing uh, structure. From my own dictionary explanation, you restructure when there is already a structure to, re, you know, already structure on ground. You don't restructure a bare ground. You only start afresh to, you know, to, to, to put the foundations and all that. When they talk about restructuring the country, what are they going to restructure? Just like Jonathan said. Are you going to restructure mind, mind of Nigerians that are no longer there? Who and who wants to continue in one Nigeria that you want them to restructure their mind? Is it the Fulani's houses that, you know, that has been clamoring? You will hear them, Igbo has killed them, Igbo do this or Igbo do the other one. Yoruba has killed them, Yoruba don't like them, Yoruba want them to go. Is it the same people you want them to restructure their mind? Come on. Let's 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 bring up the truth. Let us face the reality. That is not possible. If it was about 10, 15 years ago, you know, you are they are talking about this restructuring. I will somehow agree with them. Though farms, this is my own, you know, my own uh, uh, kind of view. This is my own view. This is my own analysis over this, guys. This time around, this age and time we are into, if they can be truthful to themselves, they will see, they will know, and they should understand that Nigerians, Jonathan is talking about that if they can re re restructure their mind, guys, nobody wants that one Nigeria again. Nobody wants a restructuring of mind first. Nobody wants a restructuring of the country. And what people are looking for, stay on your own. Let me stay on my own. Let, we, can co we can do business together. We can interact together. So before Jonathan will talk about people restructuring their mind, he also made mention of restructuring cannot happen in isolation. Yes, of a truth, it cannot happen in isolation. It cannot happen without the, 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 the major component that makes up that country. But the major company that made up that country have said no to that coming together, to that restructuring. Who do the ones are, uh, you know, clamoring for their own uh, country? Their friends are clamoring for their own country. If you see any politician that is still talking about one Nigeria restructuring at this age and time, look at that person very well. He's a politician. They are they are among the people sharing the dividends of that country to themselves and to their families. And Jonathan also talked about. Restructuring must be done, not, you know, nepotism, ethnicity, bias, and religious favoritism. Is it today that this kind of a thing started in Nigeria? It's been a long time that nepotism has been in control in Nigeria. It's been a long time that ethnic, ethnic bias has been there. Somebody will go in as, let us just take, for example, an ordinary local government chairman. The brother will become the PA. The sister will be the uh, uh, head of a social so department. And the whole of the family will be there working. But you can imagine, all these Westerners will look at why to do this, why to do the other one. Do you know that in some of the countries, the ones I know very well, that if you are a president, none of your relatives will be in, the, in, the, in that cabinet. None of your none of your relative will be in that cabinet. None of your none of your relative will be part of that. You know whatsoever you are doing there as a as a as a governor or a president, 
You dare not employ your own sister or your relative from your mother's side, from your father's side, this, that, that, and the other one. If you do it, you will be sacked. It's one of the things they will impeach you of. But in Nigeria, it's not so. And somebody wants to tell me ethnicity, uh, religion favoritism, and all that and all that. This white you are seeing, they don't do it. The ones I know, except that country, I don't know about it. But the countries I know, Europeans, Europe countries, you dare not try such a thing, you are a president. And your brother becomes your, 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 your chief of staff. Your sister will be working on that, under this one. All those things. Are you, are you running a family affair? No, you don't do that in a Western world. But look at Nigeria. Somebody will be president, governor, and the children will, serve, will be serving under them. Their brothers and sisters, all of them, everybody are there. You want to tell me you, you will restructure? What kind of mind are you going to restructure? Will the governors restructure their mind? Will those local government chairmen restructure their mind? Which one are they going to restructure? If they want to restructure, if at all there is anything like restructure, it should start from all these politicians' houses. It should start from their families. It should start from the presidency. Or, uh, anyway, there's nothing like presidency. I have not come across it before. Yes, that is the truth about it. I'm talking about the president, uh, governors, local government chairman. The restructuring should start from them. Those people they have employed, their friends, relatives, will be shas. They have to let them go. If they can go to a central working wherever to look for work, it's a different thing. But not coming to serve under the administration of their brother, under one appointment or the other. Those things are favoritism. Those things are nepotism. It ought to stop. So guys, sorry for that. I, ha I had a little interruption. There should, there should be, there should be equity in everything. But whether they, they, they look at those things, whether they look at it, remove them or not, Nigerians are no longer interested in what restructuring. But the restructuring of mind and restructuring of the country as a whole. J.E.J., -E get it right. Go and do your, make your inquiries. Nigerians are no longer interested in restructuring. So, guys, this is my own anal analysis over this. Come to the comment section, please. Come tell me what you think about this statement. Let's dialogue over it. Drop your comment, please. But remember to, you know, comment constructively. We are here to learn from each other. We are not here to quarrel. Nigerians, Nigerians and Nigeria on its own no longer need restructuring. Everybody needs to stay on its own. And we can do things on bilateral agreements. I want to drop it here for now. See you at the comment section. And meet you on my subscription bell. And for now, I'm going to say bye-bye. See you again in my next video. Bye-bye.